All right, let's dive into Elder Jeffrey R. Holland's October 2021 General Conference Talk, The Greatest Possession. Excellent talk, lots of great points. We're just going to cover three with three questions so that as you study personally or as you share with your family or your church class, you can consider some of these things if you would like, okay? So, point number one, really the entire, entire reason for the talk is we need to have a wholehearted, uncompromised commitment to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, one of the things that I really liked about this talk were all the phrases and words that he used to describe this type of commitment and what we need to be. So you can go through the talk underlying those phrases and words and make a list if you would like. So there was like, come unto Christ completely, um, loyalty, spiritual immersion, etc. And then from those words, make your own list of words that you would typically use in your own vocabulary and kind of make it more personal that way. So how can you be that, have that wholehearted commitment to Jesus Christ and his gospel using your own words there, okay? So question one that goes with this is, is Elder Holland also talked about how while the gospel of Jesus Christ is available without price, we also have to be prepared for it to cost everything. And he used some great examples with, you know, pulling out our teeth and <laughs> taking the whole tree. But um, how is that possible to have it available without price, but cost everything, right? And um, how is that in our lives? Um, think about things that you might have already given for the gospel of Jesus Christ and what you've been willing to sacrifice in already, right? And what you're still willing to sacrifice and maybe what you're not as willing to sacrifice and how you can get to the point where you are willing to give it all up and why you would want to, right? Why would you want to have this complete commitment to the gospel of Jesus Christ? Okay. So things to ponder. All right. Number two, um, I love Elder Holland um, and his the words that he uses when he talks about God is exceptionally good at forgiving <laughs> and thank goodness. Right. But he says it's probably because we've given him so much practice. <laughs> That's true. Right. We all need forgiveness and we need it a lot. Um, but he says when we are ready to change, right. And to ha seek that forgiveness that no matter what time it is, what day of the week, there's always divine help ready to help you do that and to make that change. So don't be afraid of it. Take advantage of that forgiveness and willing, um, being able to change. Change is a gift from God. Let's take it, right? Um, question two that you can ask with this point and to ponder if it's for your own personal notes. Um, President um, Nelson is quoted by Elder Holland in this in he with the phrase higher and holier life. That's a phrase that President Nelson uses. And so the question is, how can I seek a higher and holier life in this thing? So um, think about your day, you know, is there a point in your day where you typically get stuck or frustrated or just worn out at a certain part, right? Like, um, is there a part of your day that could go better, right? Think about your day and then ask yourself, how can I live this part of this day um, in a higher and holier way? What can I change about me, about my surroundings? What can I do differently? How can I live it in a higher and holier way? And get unstuck, right? And then seek that help, that divine help and um, forgiveness. But think about how that applies to your life personally and what are the real changes that you can make. And if maybe you can't see what those are, God can help you with that through prayer. Okay. Point number three that we can learn from this talk, obviously there's more, but uh, my third point is Elder Holland talks about the first commandment a lot, but he also points out the first truth that we can all know. And this is something that we do know, but sometimes we forget or forget to internalize it. Okay. And that truth is that God loves you wholeheartedly, completely, without reservation, just like we should love him, right? He already loves us that way. And the, um, what does that mean to you? When have you felt that? Um, do you need to pray today so that you can feel that again to remember that God loves you completely just the way that you are right this second? Um, and a question that you can kind of ponder as or discuss 
is how can we increase our love for God then um, and have it dwell in our hearts always? Because, it, you know, we love God. We know that. But how can we keep that in our hearts always? Because sometimes we tend to let it slip um, as we go about our routines and our daily activities. And in what ways has the love of God changed things for us already? In what ways might the love of God help us change more? Um, Elder Holland points out how God will give us the ability, the capacity, the will, and the way to love others more. So, um, and to help us solve all these problems, right? Um, I love how he talks about man discovering fire for the second time with this love of God um, and his love for us combining together to create this fire, which really inspires true change and allows us to love others more completely as well. So great points, great talk, share your comments, come join our Facebook group um, and the official threads there and discuss this further. Have a great day.